hello everyone today we are going to implement a system which uh, prevents enemy AI characters overwhelming the player that means they will not attack us the same time they will do a check if another character is doing an attack to us that may uh, by us I mean the player character if yes uh, they will not attack but if we are not under attack currently they will attempt to do an attack so as you can see here in this demonstration they are just running around without actually attacking us until they get a chance to attack so that's what we are going to work on today and before i get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. And also this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series I'm doing. So you can uh, watch all the episodes in my channel. I'll leave the link to the full uh, playlist also in the description. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so right now, if I start fighting with these enemies, they will, without any control, they will try to attack me. See, they are, all of them are trying to attack, like not taking turns. They, sometimes they attack at once, sometimes not, but this is not, this could be overwhelming for the player. See, so what I want to do is, if one enemy is doing an attack then other enemies should wait for their turn so player would have a chance to win the battle against them so to do this we might need to implement some mechanisms so what i'm thinking of is here let's implement a new gameplay ability uh, not an ability gameplay effect let's see gameplay effect i'll call it g e under attack so when the character is under attack i'm gonna apply this gameplay effect and here let's add a component target tags gameplay effect component and here under the add tags i will add um, we would need to create a new tag to define the character is under attack so for that here under character state let's add under attack tag let's add it on the default gameplay tags ini and I'll select this character dot state dot under attack. Oh, there are two R's. Mistake. Start. Okay, now the duration policy I'll set to has duration and maybe for four seconds or oh, let's start with five seconds okay then um where should we apply this so if i go to the behavior tree of that is used by the ai here i have this check target task uh, blueprint task let me open it so basically what this does is it checks if the character is dead if the character is dead then we return finish execute with a false so that the tree will not proceed after this part that means the attack will not happen now here if the character is not dead then same as here I'll do another check to see if the character
vector is under attack and let's have a branch like this if the character is under attack we should not attack that means we should return this uh, finish the execute finish the execute with a false if this is false that means this character is not under attack that means we can attack but if we are going to start attacking we should also make sure we should also make sure other characters are not going to attack anymore so for that to make sure that we can apply the under attack gameplay effect to this target act so here let me get another reference to the gameplay ability system component and apply gameplay effect to self and here I'll choose GE under attack and also I'll wait let's have a delay of one second before I do the attack so that there will be less chance for other characters also to start an attack in the same time what's the error oh here okay now let's see they're coming Now they are not attacking all at once. Alright, so this is much better than the system that we had before. So, so now player can actually do some attacks without getting overwhelmed by enemies even though there are multiple enemies present. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.